Hello everybody. How are you today? May the Lord be with you, bless you in Jesus' glorious name. We thank God for everything he's doing. Our God is so good. He has led us out from the bondage of sorrow, out from the bondage of sickness and pain. The word of God says, fear not, he is with you. Just be calm. The Lord will make a way for you where there is no way. Amen. Our Bible lesson today is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. I read, Teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. And our topic today is, You are not alone. You are not alone. One comforting assurance we have from our Lord Jesus Christ is that we are not alone. The devil wants you to feel you are alone and abandoned. But it is a lie. In today's Bible reading, we are reassured that even though the master has gone away to be with his father, he did not leave us without a comforter who is the Holy Spirit. The work of the Holy Spirit includes Reproof concerning sin, encouragement into a life of righteousness, and giving sound judgment in difficult situations. He is to guide us into all truth, which includes this, the truth that we are not alone. Neither can we be deserted or abandoned. The Holy Spirit glorifies Jesus Christ in our lives by doing what only Christ can do in and through us. There are things that Jesus Christ commanded us to do that are impossible to execute except we are divinely added, such as the command in Matthew chapter 5, 11 to 12, to rejoice when we are persecuted. The Holy Spirit helps us with this and much more. Sometimes you may experience some situations which the devil may capitalize on to mingle our lo loving master as having abandoned you. But it, it is not true. I've also experienced this. Many years ago in my family, I thought that nobody have appreciated me. I do everything for people. They don't care. That is my family. But it's not true. The enemy will be telling me, nobody loves you in the family. They don't care whatever you're doing. They don't care. They don't like you. Ah, but God knows the truth. I know now that this is the plan of the enemy. To make me to have angry. To make me to hate my family. God forbid. It will never happen in Jesus' name. There's one lady, one sister that came to my office. She was crying. She was shedding tears. And I asked her, why are you doing this? She was telling me, she said, uh, 40 years, that no husband. Nobody has asked her if uh, she will want to marry or whatever. I told her this. This is the plan of the enemy. To make you to believe that. Your time has passed. That nobody again will come and marry you. I told her, just be calm. Remove fear from your life. That God will make a way for you. There's a way God, anytime God wants to do something, he knows what to do. And almighty God is there always to help you. This our sister, after six months, she got married to a very good man, a child of God. And she's happy in her life. Beloved, always remember that one of the names of Jesus Christ is Emmanuel. Which means God with us. Matthew 1, You have no reason to feel abandoned or neglected if... Jesus Christ is your master and Lord. What you have to do is to trust in him. Nobody have rejected you. And listen, 
you cannot be rejected. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.